last night we crossed over the border into the Olympic Peninsula and to take my van siren across the US border for the first time. Siren's a land pirate ship. The beach is just over there. Good morning, everybody. I am, it's my birthday today. <laughs> I'm really excited. I am at a campground um, in Port Townsend. Last night, we crossed over the border into the Olympic Peninsula, and this was my wish for my birthday, to spend some time with my partner um, hanging out in the Olympic Peninsula. I love the Olympic Mountains. We can see them from Vancouver Island all the time and I really wanted to just come and hang out here and then my partner surprised me with a beautiful trip to Port Townsend which is one of my favorite places that I've been watching on the U internets a lot on the YouTubes um, because there is a huge maritime and boat culture here uh, Port Townsend uh, ship wooden shipyards where they put all, build all the wooden boats there's maritime museums here I'm really excited let's rewind here a second you're asking you just crossed the border yes well the last time I crossed the border driving was Oh, maybe about four years ago, I had my previous van, Mystery. And boy, was that another story. I'll talk about it a bit later, but I was really worried that crossing the border this time was going to take a long time, and I have been trying to prepare the van in many ways to get ready for this crossing. I want to do more travel in the US, so getting across the border swiftly, safely, and efficiently, very important. This time, choosing a different border to cross at. Last night, however, because we're right on the tip of the peninsula, it was so windy. We had winds up to like 60k, uh, 60 kilometers an hour, which is really a lot for winds. The whole van was rocking. It was quite something. I think I didn't quite sleep as well as I sh would have liked to, but hey, it's beautiful. And out there is the beach. Right by the ocean. And then over here, we're at a really pretty campground. Most, there's a whole bunch of people who have left already. It's been super lovely and I'm gonna hop straight back into bed. I got up to put more wood on the fire. Uh, last night we ran the diesel heater for a bit, which was super nice because I'm just getting used to it and how much power it takes to run. Um, and we were charging the batteries on the drive down. So I started with full batteries and it got down to about 70% running the diesel heater on high. <laughs> what I've noticed is that the diesel heater takes a lot a longer of a time to heat up this large of a space. I hope to show you around a little bit today um, over the things that we get up to for my birthday, but it's so fun to be here and to be doing something and going somewhere special to celebrate and doing it with uh, my partner, my sweetie, my loved ones, and to bring you along too. Eee! Good morning, everybody. It is a new day here in Port Townsend. It is gorgeous. The beach is just over there. There's some bathrooms and stuff. And the sun is out. I'm having a lovely time. And I think today we're gonna go and head out towards the Olympic Peninsula and go see some more views. I wanna be able to see back to Vancouver Island and look back at it from this side of the border. That's pretty amazing. We went to the Port Townsend Marine Science Center and the uh, Port Townsend Shipyard yesterday and went to the Port Townsend Brewing Brewery and tried some amazing local beverages, which was super nice. Um, there's a, a distillery called, or a farm and cidery called Finn River, 
oh my gosh the most delicious cider I've ever tasted um, we're not actually gonna go south down there we're actually gonna go back up towards Port Angeles and head over to the coast and I'm excited about it and uh, oh, yesterday I got to see um, Tally Ho, the Samson Boat Co. Uh, rebuild boat. We went to the shipyard after the brewery, walked around, not interacting with anyone, respecting their privacy, but it was so nice to be like, ah! Yeah very surreal and I love boats and we went out for talk on the on the docks and marinas and got to talk to somebody who has a little I don't know it was a very cute boat little thing and it was painted bright yellow which is why we went up to see it um, and one day I hope to have a, a boat of my own and I'm sure it will be something cute and interesting like that Diesel heater is going. These are the ciders we got yesterday. They look amazing. I'm very excited to try them. And then we also tried this one, which is another local one. It was very delicious. It's apple wine, but it tasted more like a cider. Very excited about. I love trying local beverages. It's so delicious. So nice. And everything here is nice and warm. You can see a little draft that I need to fix. But yeah, so pretty. And then over this mound is the beach and the lighthouse. So hopefully I'm gonna get some shots of the lighthouse and we'll go down to the beach again. having a great time. It's been really special to come somewhere new and the main point of coming just a short distance was to take my van Siren across the US border for the first time. Wanting to make sure that the border crossing went well, if there was anything that I needed to be aware of in future. I have crossed the border in a vehicle once before. It took me four hours of talking to the agents at the border to, to convince them to let me through. I was, however, on a working holiday visa at the time, and so I understand they were a bit more suspicious. I'm now a permanent resident, so that makes a lot of difference. The New Zealand passport, you have to get an ESTA visa waiver, which allows 90 days, I think, in the US at a time. I don't know that permanent residency immediately gives me the same um, access as Canadians, which I think is six months. I do not think that's the case until I get um, Canadian citizenship, although I probably could go through a longer visa application process and get six months, but the Esther is like a five minute form to fill out on the internet. Oh, I love the sound of breakers. There's kelp forests out there, which means there's sea creatures. Wow. I haven't heard that sound since I was in New Zealand. Other than Tofino and the west coast of Vancouver Island, there are not very many places around where I live that have the sound of real ocean breakers. And that is such a home feeling for me and a familiar, ooh, that boom sound is just amazing. They have 
uh, breakwater here, which is obviously very important to protect the lighthouse and these buildings. The sea is reclaiming all. Her big ass seagulls. Look at the waves over there, the current around the point. Hoo wee! It is windy out there, but it is so beautiful. excursion. Thanks Port Townsend. Now I'm gonna go look at some boats I think and I'm really excited. I've watched quite a number of sailing channels. One day I really want to have my own boat. One day. This is a land boat. Siren's a land pirate ship. Full of octopuses and I'm a Parati to Fenua. Tefenua means of the land in the Maori language is the indigenous language of New Zealand. It's pretty cool. Leaving the joys of the marine world in Port Townsend, we headed to the Olympic Peninsula in the vague direction of Beaver, Washington. Now, try keeping a straight face while looking that one up. We stopped along the way both to look back at Canada and Vancouver Island and look up at Olympic Peninsula Mountains from the top of Hurricane Ridge. Living up to its very windy name, there was snow not too far outside of the park entrance. And without our chains on board, I still have to get some, we opted to hike up to the snow line instead. Met with beautiful forest green, much like the Pacific Northwest of Canada, and beautiful rivers and the cutest little bridges ever. It was a joy and the exercise and stretched of legs that I really needed.
it's a rock carpet. This makes me laugh. This is definitely not holding up the rock. We are about 700 meters above sea level now, close to 800. You can feel the snow in the air, but I don't think we'll get to it. Oh no, snow! <laughs> so pretty, just a tiny little teeny sniff. Sniff of snow. Oh, it just goes down into the valley, it looks so pretty! My camera can see anything. My tea, my breakfast in a cup, and then it's beautiful looking outside. This isn't a um, state, or provincial, or national campground. It's private. It was only for ten dollars, which is really great. If we can, if we can find out how and where to pay, because I don't know if we will be able to do that. There's nobody else here. We're here all by ourselves, and the sound of the rain on the roof is just beautiful. I love being in a rainforest. It's just one of my favorite things. I was outside the van 
last night peeing in the rain and I gave myself such a fright. I saw a small thing on the ground as a shadow and totally scared myself silly thinking it was like a cat or something and freaked out. It wasn't. I had no need to be scared. It was so silly. But I'm so still new to Canada and I'm aware of the predators, the bears and the cougars. And now we're in, I'm in Washington state in the US and they live here too, for sure. I'm going in a little walk, walk around, um, around the campsite, because there's mushrooms everywhere. It's huge! Look, it's got a little pillar. Wow! That looks so weird. <sighs> I love being out here and doing, even though it's raining, doesn't really stop me. It's beautiful. And you know what? Being down in Washington, I mean, realistically, we're not that much further south. But it almost feels from where I was, I've gone back in time with the seasons. It is warmer, wetter, damper, and I just love it. I feel like on trails like this, it'd be very easy to feel like I was gonna get lost. Cause they kind of just subtly curve and then you're all turned around and don't know what direction you're facing. And I'm trying to get back to the van. I might just have to backtrack my steps. I was hoping that this would be a shortcut back, but I think it's gonna curve that way now. That's the opposite direction that I need to go. Mm. See? Oh, look, I can cut through here. Perfect. Ha! Found a trail, found it, found it, found it. This is Beaver Lake. It's very beautiful, but as you can see, the weather is going sideways. We were gonna take the van all the way to the coast and show you Vancouver Island from the Washington uh, Olympic Peninsula, Washington State Olympic Peninsula, but we ain't gonna be able to see shit. Look at this, I can barely see that mountain over there. And I parked Siren on a tiny angle that was a bit scary at first, just to get in here. Woo! I mean, it's beautiful, but wet. Right, what does this say? Welcome to Beaver? Right, yeah. Welcome to Beaver. I'm very excited to be planning a several big trips in the new year. Going across the border this time felt like a piece of the puzzle preparing for a longer trip. Making sure 
I knew what to expect and how to be prepared for the best possible outcome. I am doing lots to prepare for more and longer van trips in the new year, both south down to the US and further north in Canada. I'm super excited. Because I had such a hard time the first time I tried to cross the US-Canada border, taking Mystery, my previous van, I mean, she was a 1977 and didn't look the hottest, across the border last time, I really wanted to check off a different border crossing. Would it make a difference? Would different paperwork make a difference? Thank you so much for joining me for this beautiful and exciting birthday Sorry, trip. Birthday and celebrating the joys and beauty of Washington State in the lower parts of the Pacific Northwest. If you wanted to see all of this a couple of weeks ago when it actually happened in the behind the scenes, feel free to jump over to Patreon and join the folks there. I'm actually about to send out all my Christmas cards to everybody who has their postal addresses listed. Very exciting for you Patreon, so keep an eye out. That will be coming in the mail to you soon. If you're a new Patreon joining, you'll also get posted out some stickers for free. If you haven't seen the stickers, they are also available in my web shop. Please jump over to flossyrocks.ca and you'll see all of the stickers that I have left there. And you can also buy tickets to the film that I made a couple years ago. If you want to see that short film in its entirety, it's about an hour long, including the Q&A and interviews. Feel free to check it out there. Thanks so much for watching. I cannot wait to share with you the exciting videos I have come up, up next. I know I've been hinting at them for a while and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the notification bell it'll mean a lot to me. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Thank you! Bye!